Okay, now we're actually at one of my favorite parts of Bowser's Castle, and some one of other people's least favorite parts. There are six doors. Do you need an explanation? Sure. Of the six doors, two open onto action courses. You can handle a lot of action, right? Two others will lead to you, you to battle courses. You can fight, right? The last two open onto puzzle courses. No sweat for a great puzzle solver yell like you, right? Once you choose a course, there is no turning back. The only way to know what's behind a door is to walk through it. You must pass four of the six courses to move ahead. I've heard that of the six courses, the one that are in a random order every time you play. Which is weird, because I always thought they were the same ones every time. But, I don't know. Let's see what's behind door number one. Okay, they are random. Because I distinctly remember this one being an action course before. Although I think you can, um... Just go through a door and then kill yourself off. Well, okay, that doesn't work too well with the battle courses, but... The action and puzzle courses, I think you can just go through it and then purposefully fail just to see what the door is and then go and then you just restart from the room with the six doors. But yeah, since they're random, you might as well just go like one, two, three, four or something. Okay, so I believe there are nine or twelve, something like that, different battles in each of these. The enemies get more difficult each time. And I hope the guy I got the one that doesn't end in a chest monster. Because I hate those things. Yep. Not sure if any of these enemies give you items. Big Bertha. Actually, if I remember correctly, those things don't have that much magical defense in Thunderbolt. Bolt actually takes a decent chunk of their health up. I totally did not time that one very well. And Gino levels up. Yep, go with the attack. And now we might as well use that elixir. Yeah, Mario and Peach were down enough. Forky's are enraptured. And the dogs are stupid. Yeah, it really is too bad I don't have more Yoshi cookies on me. Although if the Forky still has full health, and it doesn't work. And I get a Sleepy Bomb. Maybe I'll use that for one of the last battles. Actually, maybe I'll just use it for one of the next ones, since I won't get any more items if... Okay, it seems to have worked on all of them. That's good. Okay, so... Oh, he didn't stay asleep long. Woken up by a slap to the face. Yeah, the battle courses are really nothing new. And I got a power blast out of that. Basically, the attack version of... Yeah, it raises party's attack power in battle. 
I don't need six pick-me-ups either. Blooper! Good occasion for Zappy Zap. Yes, yes it is. Another good occasion for lightning. Like I said... Able Juice, yeah, definitely trashing that. There's absolutely no point in having Able Juice once the princess gains her group hug ability. Or even, heck, just the therapy. Well, unless, of course, the princess gets poisoned or something, but that shouldn't happen if she's wearing an accessory that blocks such things. But she should be. I guess it could be useful in between the time when you get the princess and when you can equip her with the status effect blocking accessory, but I don't think there are that many enemies in there, in between there, that cast status effect spells on you. Okay, let's put my theory to the test, or punch. Yep, 342. So, if you're ever cornered by cannons, just shock them. Okay, this should be the second to last battle. Another good occasion for the Thunderbolt. And pure water, which probably won't help much. Unless I get another Dry Bones. Okay, this isn't the that wasn't the second to last one. Okay, wait a minute. These guys are pulsars. Does that mean I'm supposed to attack them with physical or magical attacks? And I get a bracer. Yeah, I kinda needed braces. Okay, this is the last one, yeah. Oh, this battle is evil. This guy has a thousand HP, I think. Or maybe it's twelve hundred, I don't know, it's a lot. Yeah, he takes forever to kill and he summons a monster to help him. Monsters are inside. And we're fighting a Bahamut. Bahamut? I don't know, it's a dragon, okay. At least there's only one of them. Sandstorm. only the princess gets to go soon. Yeah, that was... Probably don't want to worry about the Bahamut until the Chester is gone. 
Mega Recover. Hey, at least he didn't use it on himself. Alright, Bahamut. Down you go! As far as I know, this enemy only ever appears in the game when it's summoned by another. So, that's the end of that course, and we get a Drill Claw, which is a weapon for Bowser that I will never use. So, one down, three to go. Let's try door number two. Uh, it's another battle course, okay. Hey, this one doesn't have a chest monster at the end of it, so I'm happy. The action courses tend to have the most items by far. I really expected that to do more damage than it did. They are Goombas, so... There's a limit to how difficult they can be, you know? Okay, why did it do only one damage to Mario, but 32 Mellow? Sense not made. On the plus side, if you end up with both of the battle courses, you can get a lot of experience points. And my inventory is full again. Okay, here, have a mushroom. I suppose I guess you... Just by pure random chance, you could get a decent amount of items in the battle courses, too. They might be held further, or they might not, and the items in the action courses tend to be fairly powerful ones like royal syrups and rock candies. Well, I guess the rock candy is your reward for completing two of them. Which two I can't remember, but... Every course gives you a reward at the end, and it's always either a weapon for somebody, like the, the last weapon they get, aside from the lazy shell, or it's a rock candy. Thank you for wasting your turn on that. Given that these guys are pretty much immune to magic, there isn't a way to take them both out in one turn. Yeah, and thank you guys for wasting your turns as well. You fail. And you have low physical defense. How does that make you feel? And now we're up against Slingshies. Who are vulnerable to being zapped. I do wish I wouldn't have to waste all those coins though. Lightning spam. I probably should look up whether you can actually defend against magic attacks or not. Because if not, then I've been wasting my time pressing my pressing that button at the right time. Or then. that immediately. I guess I'll use up the bracer on the next boss. This, by this point in the game there are actually quite a few bosses still left. The final dungeon alone has three of them.
Hmm. Couldn't one of those guys have attacked me so far? Well, I'm not complaining. Amanitas? Haven't seen these in forever. Wow. They're all pals from the forest maze. Let's see how much pain we can put on them at level 25. Three sixty damage. And we get a mushroom. Yeah, I just healed four HP, but I don't care because it's a mushroom. Glum Reaper. Call it swap with the Creeper. Stronger? But not a whole lot stronger, I think. I have a feeling these guys aren't going to be tough either because, yeah. They were back in the sunken ship and... Yeah, 434 damage. This is definitely the easier of the two battle rooms. Like I said, a lot of that is, it doesn't end with the chest monster, so... Okay, I think this is the last hallway. Punch the Potaboo! Or Pyrosphere, if you prefer. Once again! Something just came to mind. There is another errand I forgot to run. Lakitu? Which one do you even fight these guys? In the game. Huh. Is this the only place where Lakitu's appear where you can actually fight them? Now I forgot to give Todovsky the next part of the melody, but... I guess I can do that after Bowser's Keep. I'll do it before fighting the bonus bosses, I suppose. Yeah, maple syrup. Now that's something I can use. But now I don't have anything I feel like trashing. Oh, pure water. I can get rid of that. I'm not sure when a good time to use that firebomb would be either. These guys are just as weak to physical attacks as they were before. Get another mushroom! Okay, yeah, this is the last enemy. Kind of anticlimactic. Although there are six of them and you can't attack them all at once. Unless you use a magic attack and... We've already established that they have too high magical defense for that to be viable. You can at least take out half of them in one round. Hey, maple syrup. Okay, now I have no items I want to throw away. 
I guess it won't be too long before I'll... Well, I don't know. Got a star gun. Gino's last weapon. Not gonna use that one either, though. Okay, uh, four more. What the heck, just keep going in order, I guess. Time for the first puzzle, of course. Hey, 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 it's me, the quiz master, and it's quiz time. I'll have an explanation. I'll give you 12. Count them 12 questions. If you're right, the block you're standing on will move up one. But if you blow it, you go down two. You have five seconds. If you can't answer, you move down one. Reach the eighth step within the 12 questions and you've won. Got it? What's the full name of the boss with the sunken ship? Jonathan Jones. What do Kulex, Jinx, and Goomba have in common? They live in Monster Town. Who helped you off the cliff at Land's End? Sky Troopers. Where was the first star piece found? In the Mushroom Kingdom. Who was the famous composer at Tadpole Pond? Todovsky. What color is the end of Dodo's beak? Uh, red? Who's the ultimate enemy in this adventure? Smithy. What words does Shy Away use when he sings? la di da He's very cute when he does. Well done! I guess that was just a warm-up for you, huh? Yeah, well he didn't give me any of the hard questions. Yeah, let's see how well you can count. Give you ten seconds? Ten! Give and tell me the number of barrels in this room. Hey, <laughs> close your eyes for a sec. You ready? Easy enough. Thirteen. Two by two by two square plus two plus two plus one. Is thirteen. Correct! <laughs> but this is just a warm-up. Next! Now we'll see if you can really count. You've got 20 seconds. Ready? Forty-three. Yeah, it's three by four by three. Minus two, and then plus four, four, one, and one. So, whatever. Correct! Piece of cake, huh? Now for something completely different. A man with three buttocks. Hey. Boo, Goo, Bones, and Kip competed in a triathlon. Triathlon included swimming, cycling, and a marathon. It's up to you to guess which place each person came in. Listen well, you're only going to hear this story once. Yeah, okay, here's a bit of a logic puzzle. If you've played the game before, you can figure out... You don't even need to bother figuring it out, but... If you... If this is your first time, then... You should probably write down what each person says and make a chart of... Well, let's see. I fell into fourth place during the bike race, but finally ended up in the same place as I did in the swimming event. I outrode Boo on my bike, and Boo was never and ever able to pass me. He comes in first. I placed the same in the swimming, swimming and cycling events, but two others beat me in the marathon. And I came in third for swimming. So, one. Person who says that is first. Second. Uh, third. Yeah, third. And fourth. They'll switch the names around, like, he might say I outrode Kip on my bike. Well, alrighty. Go and talk to them in the order they came in and return here. I came in first, right? And he was second. He was third, and he was fourth. You were thinking Goo, Boo, Bones, Kip in that order, right? Are you sure? Yay! Well done! Nothing to it, eh? <laughs> Alright, you may be here and proceed. That was the easiest... Um, the easier of the two puzzle courses, too. And we must toss an item, so... Oh, what the heck, I'll toss that. Okay. Give me an action course, please. Alright. So here we have, we get 10 tries to make it through this entire course. Whoops. Make that 9. Invisible path. And when you jump and land on it, you can see it briefly. This is a fright bomb. Not important enough to keep. 
Yeah, you can get some good items in some of the action courses. This is a royal syrup. I'm not going to toss that. So let's get rid of... I guess it picked me up. And actually, let's use a maple syrup so as not to waste too many items. And here we find a... Ice Bomb. Yeah, that's the other ice attack I was talking about besides Mellow's Snowy. That and the and Snowy are the only two ice attacks in the game. And the ice bombs are very rare, so... And another rock candy. I'll toss a max mushroom. Not that I'll ever actually use any of those rock candies. This is a point in the game where almost all the items you get become too awesome to use. Yeah, that part is easy enough. Okay, now this part is less than easy. This is another occasion where isometric platforming is a pain. I usually don't even try to get the items in this room. Ow. Yeah, you also lose coins for falling into the lava, so... Yeah, I really don't feel like I should risk getting that. Okay, maybe that one. Hmm, do you have to jump it? Dang it! At least I start over from the same platform I was on. Okay, should I try to jump onto that platform or not? can't tell where I'm supposed to jump. That's the problem with isometric platforming. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I only have five chances left. Okay, now it's time for a... What's basically... Donkey Kong. Like the original. You have to make it to the top. Ow. Dang it, this part is a pain. Only got three chances left. Ah, I was so close! Grr, this one's annoying. I think they come in groups of six. So I suppose you could use that to your advantage. Actually, yeah, a new, strat new strategy. Two, three, four, five. I didn't even know that they came in groups of... Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! This is your last chance! So make it count. I didn't even know they came in groups of six until I found that out somewhere. Dang it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, and six, and get the heck up there, and... Alright. That's finished. And we've got a super slap. The princess's special, or best weapon. Might as well equip that, because I'm actually going to use it. And she gets an attack of 199. And that was four doors, so now we exit into the next room, which has the floor! <laughs> Level 25, six stars, Bowser's Keep. 
and what awaits us in the next room.